Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here back with some more of our Eagles franchise. It's been a little while since we've been able to get this, since I've been able to do all this. Got the new stuff going on here, but we got a Hall of Fame ceremony coming up here. And let's cut into this. I think it's with uh, Demarcus Ware. Go into it. When DeMarcus Ware was selected 11th overall in the 2005 NFL Draft, he became the first Troy University player to ever be chosen in the opening round. Now, 17 years later, he's the first Trojan to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. His 138 and a half sacks ranked ninth all time in NFL history. And his nine Pro Bowl selections are tied with fellow legends like Walter Payton, Ed Reed, Derek Thomas, and John Elway. Now, DeMarcus joins them in the Hall of Fame. Marcus Ware, one of my more favorite defensive players. We do get the finesse moves for all linebackers for the next six weeks. So, we get it until week four of the regular season. So, how I'm going to do this one is all this episode is going to be the preseason. I'm going to play the games. Uh, in full and then in what you guys will see will be some of the highlights of some of the games some of the key stuff going on here but first we had a couple things to do with scouting so we did decide to go with Hertz and we did decide to do a lot of changes especially on the back end so our national I think still needs to be QB I think probably at safety, free safety, we probably still need that. We switched over to a 3-4. And so I think middle linebacker is probably not the thing that we need the most here. We do need one there. Uh, just a one receiver, I would say yes. And then at uh, garden center, I would say we do need. Our national scout will be, of course, QBs. Uh, let's go tight ends uh, out west. Go with this in the central. I think that's pretty good. And go northeast to find a barber. Okay. Here we are. Dalen Hurst getting his first taste of some action in year two of the franchise. Getting back into the swing of things. We got some quarterbacks behind him as well. So no threats for him to not be the quarterback for this season. And it's all on his shoulders. Here we go, week one. Cam Newton is on the other side. We're gonna have the ball first. And we'll see what we can get into here. Even though I edit this post uh, commentary, I am gonna turn down the crowd. It's probably a little overbearing, but it'll be fine. Quick throw out to Dallas Goddard. Be a good game there. There's Devontae Adams in his number 11. And the speed on Devontae Adams. And we got him one of the best weapons. And that's Quez Watkins working out of the slot now. We see a lot of him. 
Him and Rager will be the ones kind of trading off in that slot position. A short to Dallas Goddard. One on one coverage. Nope. And that should have been picked off. We gotta throw that a lot faster. One on one with Dallas Goddard, and he cannot get Duger to miss the tackle. Revamping the defense. Give a massive contract to Devontae Adams, which is probably not the smartest thing now that I'm thinking about it, but. Revamping our line to get younger kind of allowed us to make a splash like Devontae Adams. Bryant, the rookie. We got two big name rookies out here in Nails as well. Bryant not able to make the tackle. There's Fletcher Cox. And down he goes. None other than Josh Sweat out here. We saw him play pretty well last season, so. He has that and trying to roll outside, and that's thrown away. Wilson in a quarterback spy. Al Sanders is going to get the ball a hefty amount of times this year, more than likely. Especially out of the passing game. Good first down there. Miles Sanders, maybe a gain of a couple. That's the end of the second quarter here. So let's look at who is all out here in the coaching for our number twos. So we have Kerry Kendricks, Gainwell, and Huntley going to be out here. We also had Gerald Watson, and uh, Cordell is more of a gadget guy. We'll kind of see how that goes. But he'll be in our Quiz Watkins, Hightower, Best. Okay, I actually like that. Tight end, Uzuma, Merritt, and... And that just misses. The Kendrick in the game now. Let's see what our reserves have. That's just going to throw it away. There he is, Mac Jones. Gonna bust it out side and not going anywhere. That's uh, Givens, I think. There. There's Epps. We're getting some good runs. Good play by Carl Nassib. Mac Jones misses Man Keen, the tight end. Bit of man coverage here. That's thrown away. It's the rookie, Quincy Gibbons, shaking up there. We have Gainwell in the backfield. We didn't feature him too much last season, but Miles Sanders was the main back. And Good 
Goddard checking in as a third tight end. A little misdirection. I got caught up on the right guard. All right, best. Let's see what he has. Or Quez Watkins. Quez Watkins. Quez Watkins. Oh, he can't come up with the ball. Pressure in his face. Hendrick just could not get it to him. And just missed Uzma there. Or Uzama. What a great, great route there. It's Josiah Scott. And you got beat ups. We get the best. There's Quez Watkins showing off the speed. We're going to take a timeout here. Uzama checks in, best. Shield the leg gap blitz. With this formation. One on one on the outside. Wes Watkins, all day long. One on one. He has the height. He has the speed, baby. Let's go. You want executive decision? Look, key moments. Go in. And that's picked off. Scott cannot hold on to it, though. He's out of bounds. Down he goes. It's out the back of the end zone. Smart play by Mac Jones. The game senses that we're not very good at field goals, so we get some practice with Jake Elliott. Big third down here. Let's cover three skies zone. It's going to be a weak throw, and that's the only reason it's caught. Some contact there. The two of his own players. Taken down is Hugh Nails. Clean up in the box there. We're all over the place in this scheme. Going deep. The nails is there. Make sure Taylor does not catch the football. Uzama with a good gain there. And he missed him. 
Wes Watkins wide open. And down he goes. Not able to convert there, but the boss. Best kicker. The best kicker. Let's go. We're coming at him. We're going to bring some heat. Mac Jones is going to keep it. Nowhere to go. The Schofield is banged up there. And that screen goes nowhere. We're going to man coverage here. He's taken down short of the sticks. Let's go. We need a good one from Kendrick. Two safety deep. And that's going over the middle of Uzama. First down. A little razzle dazzle. Whoa, come on. You gotta pick that up. That's inaccurate. Intended for Quez Watkins. It's not even on the mark, man. Not even on the mark. That'll be your ball game in the first one. Here we are, week two, testing ourselves against Patrick Mahomes and this stellar Chiefs offense, and they're a pretty decent defense. To see what we can do to stop down Mahomes, though. That's going to be the key to this game. A big drive to start the game. For Jalen Hurts. Just beat him, Sanders. Does, but tackled. Here the sticks. Can be holding. Cordell checks in in the backfield. Razzle dazzle. Now it's Dallas Goddard. Great play there to hand it off to Rager. Cordell in the slot now. Throw it away. Just throw it away. Cordell is wide open. Let's go. It's a very, like, sneaky signing. Do we get Devonta Adams on the outside? One on one. Come on, Devonta. Really? That's our left tackle. A rookie left tackle goes down. See how he covers with uh, Grant out there. That's gray. Tight end. It's not Jason Kelsey, but. Ooh, 
He said it's not Jason Kelsey. All right, this is a Mitch Mass, Mitch Mass, you've ever seen it. Like, come on, it's just not gonna happen there. Nice play. That's Bryant crashing down there. There's Eric Wilson. Oh my gosh, I almost had that football. That's the fullback. Or just a very good running back. A very big running back. Jesus. That's got to be a better pass, Jalen. And he is just having so many issues out here. Nowhere to go with the football there. Call timeout. Goddard has to make that play. It'll be Wagger. Nope. Adams. The Hurts puts the ball on the ground. You never want to throw it like that, but kind of broke the rules. Ooh, big hit there. And Gainwell did not get it, actually. Got it that time. There is Hightower. Touchdown? Defense is struggling a little bit here. It's Brett Huntley. And he puts the ball on the ground. It's going to be picked up by Williams. That was a big hit, though. I wanted to put more on air under that. I didn't. We have a receiver mentorship here, so we'll see what we got. Um, getting open. Let's get his release up. On long routes.
Okay, at home for our last preseason game. Big first quarter drive here. Miles Sanders in the backfield. Really just a desperation throw away and not get sacked. And Dickerson is banged up. And Goddard just drops that. Well, that worked out very well. It's a torn labrum for Dickerson. And Rager gets open there. Her standing tall in the back of the pocket and just takes a shot. Throw it away. I wanted to go deep, but we'll just throw it away there. There's Rager. Okay, Devonta Smith. He's not open. But Devontae Adams is. I got to toss it out to Miles Sanders. What am I doing? I got to get that to Miles Sanders. Come on, Adams. See what we can do with Miles Sanders here. We get some, but not much. Nowhere to go with that football. And down he goes. Graham with the sack on Herbert. That's tight coverage. Big hit by Bryant, but it's not going to make a difference. That's in the end zone. As long as that's a nice ran route on the outside. It is. We take a time out there. See what we can get with Cordell. Do not have thrown that. Big hit by Clifford, the rookie, playing in the slot.
Come on. We get a good goal line stand here. Well, not going to goal line stand doing that, so. When I put like that, you just throw it out of bounds. You can do that. Gainwell catches it on the four. We can get Gainwell in the end zone here. I want them to stay in that package. Okay. Off the edge corner blitz. And he's short. The only time it gives you a punt like that for a moment is when they're faking it. And down he goes. Williams picks it up. He should have the stamina to get there. Oh, he won't. <laughs> Williams, that's his second recovered fumble. And Uzama's in for the touchdown. Let's go, baby. Almost picked off by Stevens. Should have been picked off by Stevens. Clifford's there. Doing some work. Make him slide on that. What a throw. What a throw. Okay, now it's overtime. Because it's supposed to be a tie there. I don't know what happened. Okay, so we had one injury. I think it was Dickerson, our left guard did get injured there so let's go into uh, so he'll be back week two against Texans here we go 
New Nails is back. It's all about 16 players. Team salaries. So we made a couple of moves and we had a camp penalty of 36 million for this year because of the trades and the two picks that we did do. So we got Dwayne Haskins. Bring him in as the backup. Been in and out of the division. And uh, had a stint over with the Steelers as well. Very familiar with him. Being at Washington in his couple years starting over there. We brought him in as the backup to Jalen Hurts. And we'll see what he has if Hurts does go down. We need another dynamic playmaker with good speed. And someone that could step in if need be at 25 years old. The other one that we did pick up here is off uh, is left tackle Jamie Downing. Not a highly rated overall player, but at 22 years old, pretty easy to upgrade him. And he is down that low uh, only because of uh, his awareness. So we did have the injury go down to... I believe Dickerson and so we needed some depth on the left side of the line and Dowling I think can play that left tackle or left guard position next guy that we did bring in was none other than a guy that was cut is bounced around a little bit from the Jaguars all the way around it's Dante Fowler he's gonna come in and play some left outside linebacker for us his seventh year in the league good finesse moves because of that uh, boost but other than that some good hit power if he gets in the back uh, backfield good speed acceleration block shedding power moves more of a uh, more of a fast pass rusher and I think he can do the job on the other side so we'll have him and Avery kind of switch off a little bit and the other move I did make is at strong safety, we sent, I think it was Bubsy, down into the practice squad. And Hugh Nails will be the starter at strong safety. At free safety, it'll be K1. Wallace will be starting there. At corner, we kind of know this lineup. Slay with Darby as the 1 2. And then Clifford playing in the slot with Scott and Peterson behind him. Sweat will be starting out at right outside linebacker with Snowden backing him up. And middle linebacker Eric Wilson and Graham Bryant will be the starters there with Taylor and Bradley backing them up. Left outside linebacker Fowler and Avery will be sharing the snaps with some of Givens. Defensive tackle Javon Hargrave have been great. We saw a little bit of Milton Williams uh, recovering two fumbles in preseason and then Raycon Williams behind him right out uh, right end it's Fletcher Cox he's going to dominate the center of that line with Johnson behind him Brandon Graham on the left side Carl Nassib kind of hopping between left end and right end on the line Jack Driscoll will be your left tackle or at your right tackle I mean right guard Siamalo with Wiley kind of being in both of those spots I'm higher on uh, Driscoll in that right tackle position than Wiley right now. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Jason Kelsey anchoring the center of this line for another year with Mustafer playing that reserve for any of the inside places. So Dickerson is out week one and two. So we'll see him later on in the season. Herberg might step in there. We might have Mustafer. Uh, we might see some other guys out there, but the rookie, Jason Cutler, will be the left tackle, Leclerc behind him, and Downing. At tight end, it's Dallas Goddard, CJ Uzama, and Merritt, the rookie that we just drafted this past offseason. At receiver, we have Devontae Square with Devontae Adams and Devontae Smith. Rager and Hightower and Quez Watkins will be sharing that slot role. Uh, right now, Rager has the upper hand, but we need, might see a bit of Quez Watkins this year. Best was another guy that we drafted. No fullback. 
Over in the halfback, we're going to carry four this season with Miles Sanders and Gamewell, the primary halfbacks. We'll see a little bit of Cordell Patterson out of the backfield as well as the slot with Huntley returning kicks with Cordell. And that quarterback, it is Jalen Hurts. In his, going into his third year, uh, second year as a starter, and we'll see, see what they can do in this one as... Hertz has another new weapon in Devontae Adams, and hey, it's his year to really prove it, or do the Eagles move on? We had three draft picks, and we did not spend one on a quarterback. So that is key. With the draft this year, kind of give you an idea what we're going to be looking at. So here we do have our first round pick, two second round picks. We have Green Bay second round pick, a third, two fourths with Minnesota's fourth, a fifth, two sixth with. We don't have our own sixth round pick, but we have Indianapolis's and Dallas, and then three seventh round picks with having our own Cincinnati and Green Bay's, and obviously nothing in 2024. The biggest thing is we only have first, one first round pick, but hey. We'll see what Hurts can do out here. As for the schedule, give you a little preview of the schedule before we set our season goal next episode and anything like that. We start with the Lions at home, and then we play the Texans. We host the Texans, so two home games. Then we go to Jacksonville, and maybe we'll see Dante Fowler out there with some uh, revenge game against his former team. And then it is the Bears. So we go to Chicago to take on none other than the man, the myth, the legend. I believe he was rookie of the year last season in Justin Fields. Then we go to Washington and play the football team. Then at home against Seattle, that'll be a hard-fought game against a very good Russell Wilson-led team. Then two away games, Falcons and Steelers. Then we host the Vikings. Then at the Cowboys. And then a revenge game maybe for Devontae Adams. As he goes back to Lambeau. And we'll see them in the Packers week 11. Titans in week 12. And then at home against the Giants. And Saquon Barkley that utterly destroys me all the time in week 13. Our bye week is later on. Mm, not the greatest, but we'll take it. Then it's Cowboys, Colts, and a Washington at home weeks 15 through 17. And we end the season in New York to play the Giants. Or actually, technically, New Jersey to play the Giants. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Go ahead and leave a like below, comment, and subscribe. I promise there will not be a large gap between this episode and the next one. We'll get right back into this one. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next Eagles franchise. Later.